The logger who was killed in an accident near Port Alice on Friday is being identified tonight as Luke Stoner, a Port McNeil man from a very well-known local family. Stoner leaves behind a young child and a wife expecting the couple's second baby in just a few weeks. His brother Clayton is a well-known hockey player with the Minnesota Wild, and the family is in mourning tonight. A-News reporter Gord Kerbis has the story. They've been pouring in for nearly half an hour. Area loggers are coming together in this Port McNeil Hall to learn more about the tragic death of one of their co-workers. They just wanted to talk to everybody today, see, um, offer up some grief counseling to all the employees, just because it was a very tragic accident what happened. Luke Stoner died Friday morning in an accident at Mahata River, 60 kilometers west of Port Alice. The logging operation was being managed by Lamar Lake Logging based in Port McNeil. A lot of people have worked with his family. His dad's owned a falling company on the north end of the island. And uh, quite a few people have worked with Luke and Ken. So it's touched a lot of people. Stoner was in his late 20s. He had a wife and son and another one on the way. He grew up on the North Island and knew the woods well. Lucas is uh, trained by his father and um, been growing up ever since he was 19 in the woods. Yeah, and Stoner right off the ensuing face -up. Luke's brother is a defenseman in the NHL playing for the Minnesota Wild. He was scheduled to return to his hometown this summer to help lead a youth hockey camp. The entire Stoner family is well known and well liked in this community. Port McNeil's mayor is calling Luke's death a terrible tragedy. Well, most people know, know the family, of course, and uh, anyone uh, whatsoever, a member of the community, passes away like that, suddenly it causes an awful lot of uh, sadness in the whole community, so everybody feels for the family in particular. Stoner's father was at the logging site when his son was killed. First aid was available at the scene, but unfortunately the young man's death was instant, so there was nothing that could be done. It's the family's call if the family wants to have a memorial service, you can be sure that the town will turn out in just high numbers to offer their sympathy. Having to come together after the death of a community member through a logging accident is something Port McNeil has had to face before. According to the town's mayor, they faced a nearly identical situation just four years ago. The town at that particular time was just showed its uh, sympathy and its sorrow in the most obvious way by turning out in very large numbers to offer their sympathy to the family. Stoner's wife, Carol Ann, is just a few weeks away from giving birth to the couple's second child. She works at the town CIBC branch where a trust fund is being set up for the family. Both WorkSafe BC and the coroner are investigating. In Port McNeil, Gord Kerbis, A News.